Que bueno mi gente, Calix Boxing here getting some vitamin D and exercise on this beautiful, beautiful June morning. Hope everybody's well. Devin Haney, I had some thoughts on this because I saw some comments uh, criticizing Devin Haney, Haney's power. Um, the fact that he couldn't hurt Linares in this fight. Not only couldn't hurt him, but couldn't cut him in the fight. I thought it was an excellent boxing performance from Haney in the first nine rounds really showed that he's one of the best technical boxers in the world but the issue is when you step up in levels a guy that comes to mind is Amir Khan Amir Khan was knocked out by Brady Prescott as he was coming up in the ranks and that really um, confirmed what a lot of people were saying about Amir Khan when it came to sparring sessions that he was having where he was getting hurt a lot in his chin um, just wasn't holding up against big punchers. So then they matched Amir Khan brilliantly for the next five or six fights up until the Marcos Maidana fight when unbelievably to me still to this day his chin held up against Maidana but as he moved up after that these deficiencies really showed with Amir Khan. Not a big, not a big puncher, um, great skill fighter. Had some decent power at 140, but when he moved up to 147, didn't have power to stop guys. And not only that, uh, and, and Amir Khan was a beautiful boxer, man. Beautiful boxer, and that's why he was one of the top prospects coming up. One of the guys who was entering the pound-for-pound -pound discussion. Um, put together punches nicely. Great technical fighter. But the big issue was his chin. Every time he stepped up, Canelo Alvarez, Terrence Crawford, um... He went decision with Lamont Peterson, but Danny Garcia was the first fight where we really saw, yeah, this is, this is confirmed. This guy doesn't have a chin to hold up against elite punchers. And these questions started to arise with Devin Haney in that 10th round when he was hurt by Linares in this fight. And, you know, if he, if he's being hurt by Linares, what happens when he steps up against a Tiafimo Lopez? Are guys who aren't seen as big punchers, but guys who have finishing power, like a Lomachenko, um, guys like that. What happens if he can't make weight at 135 much longer? What happens when he moves up to 140, faces guys like, say, a R Jose Ramirez, uh, or Josh Taylor, or, you know, bigger punchers? These questions have to be asked about Devin Haney after those last three rounds. And it could be a one-off. It could be... Him trying to squeeze out weight to 135 and he's a little weaker. I brought up the Cotto analysis when he was late in the game at 140. He was being hurt by guys like Pauli Malignaggi because he was so weight drained. Maybe Devin Haney's weight drained. Uh, or maybe it's just a one-off. Maybe he just got caught with a, a nice punch and his chin is good. <clears throat> but I keep going back to Linares cuts easy. Easy. And he didn't cut Linares in this fight. Linares didn't seem troubled by the power. Linares seemed troubled by the activity of Devin Haney and the angles of the punches and the jab and finding distance. He didn't seem to be um, at trouble with the power. So my big question is, is Devin Haney the next Amir Khan type? A guy with elite skills, elite skills, elite, elite skills. There's no question about that. But his limitation seems to be the power aspect of it. Not having finishing power to turn a fight if things aren't going his way or if it's a close fight in the championship rounds. We also have to question his stamina late in fights after watching this fight. But not only that, the bigger question for me is the chin thing. Will his chin, is this a one-off or are there chin issues that we've heard about in sparring that we sort of saw late in this fight. Are there issues with his chin? Are we overanalyzing this thing? It's just one fight, man. It's just one fight. But we have to question what happened between rounds 10 and 12. That's all we have to go off of. It's harder to analyze these fighters with the small sample size we're going off of now. Used to be guys fought multiple times a year. Now guys are fighting once or twice a year. So we have less to go off of, especially with the Devin Haney when this is his first step up and he's already a belt, a, a serious belt holder. <clears throat> People are already talking about pound for pound expectations. So with all that being said, we have to 
grade them with a little bit of a harsher curve earlier in the game. So um, are we reading too much into this or is Devin Haney's chin and lack of power, possibly if those two things are true, um, gonna limit the, the, the elite fighter or how far he can go in this game? Y'all let me know, man. I'm out, God bless, peace.